by removing the, quote, or sex change in the, quote, reference to documents acceptable in proving an applicant's identity for obtaining a marriage license. The Texas Constitution clearly defines marriage as between one man and one woman, uh, as the Constitution was amended in 2005. In 1999, the Texas Fourth Court of Appeals invalidated uh, the marriage of a transgender couple on the basis that gender is defined by sex at birth as indicated on an official birth certificate. Basically, uh, what Senate Bill 723 does is it aligns the family code with the Texas Constitution and Texas Higher Courts decisions, which provide clarity in the law. Next, we have uh, Kristen Williams wishing to testify against the bill. So here what you have is, is me, very, very sick and very sleep deprived, uh, trying to uh, make sense uh, before um, the, the Senate committee. And so my argument is first to um, discredit Littleton and then uh, show that uh, if, if they make Littleton law, I mean actual state law, then they will be turning kids gay, which is, you know, of course their worst fear. Um, you know, w nowadays whenever an intersex child is born, you wait. You wait until their natural gender is expressed. And then if the child wants to have operations, then you do it. Um, so if a child is born with ambiguous genitalia and the doctor is forced by law to write female on the birth certificate, under Littleton, Littleton would say that because female was written on that birth certificate, that child must only ever marry a man. And that can never be changed, no matter what the chromosomes are, no what matter what doctors say, no matter what psychologists say, it doesn't matter. The doctor wrote female on the birth certificate, that's what they are forever and ever and ever. And even if their gender is male and they have corrective surgery or a sex change, whenever they grow up, they can only enter into a gay relationship legally. You know, they can only marry men. And that, you know, while I don't have a problem with that, they certainly do. And so, what I'm trying to do is uh, show that, um, you know, their logic doesn't hold. You know, they're trying to. They're so phobic, they're trying to prevent gay marriage, and what they will be doing is forcing uh, kids to become, in effect, gay. So, <laughs> that's kind of uh, the argument that I was trying to make uh, in my fevered, um, literally, um, pitch to the Senate. And so, here's uh, Senator Williams talking about why he's doing what he's doing and then here's me trying to get across to the Senate committee um, the point that Littleton's a bad law and should they enshrine it in actual Texas law that it's going to have some unintended consequences. The Senator, Chairman, um Basically, uh, the, the reason why I have a problem with this bill is it relies heavily upon Littleton, which was based on Corbett versus Corbett, a 40-year-old since overturned English law. Um, look, you know, whenever the uh, Justice Angelini, uh, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, wrote in uh, her uh, opinion, that there's a problem inherent with Littleton whenever it comes to intersex individuals. Uh, currently, um, 
It's widely held throughout the medical community that intersex conditions of one type or another happens one out of every 500 births. That's a lot of people in Texas. Nowadays, it used to be that once, whenever an intersex child was born, uh, surgeries were performed on them almost immediately, with or without the parent's consent. Nowadays, it's seen as ethical to allow that child to express their natural gender. So it might be years, sometimes a decade or so, before that child undergoes, quote, sex change. And under this bill, if, if uh, the Texas legislature um, gives an official nod to the ideas in this bill, you're in effect instituting um, if uh, a child is born uh, intersex and the doctor has to put something down on their birth certificate and they say female, and uh, later that child go undergoes a sex change. Um, under this Littleton decision, they would only be able to marry men. That would be legal same-sex marriages, regardless of what their sexual orientation is. Um, and just to let you know, Depending, I've had the label intersex placed on me, I've had the label transsexual placed on me, and under Littleton, I am currently married to a woman under state law, uh, under Littleton. So um, I, I think that this would have some un unintended consequences. My issue is with the Littleton, uh, this Littleton idea. Uh. Chair, at this time, recognize the Senator <coughs> Winters uh, Williams on Senate Bill 723. Senator? Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, members, uh, Senate Bill 723 is a cleanup bill that provides consistency in the law for county and district clerks pertaining to the issuance of marriage licenses. Senate Bill 723 amends Section 2. Dot 005B of the Family Code by removing the quote or sex change in the quote reference to documents acceptable in proving an applicant's identity for obtaining a marriage license. In 2009, the Texas County and District Clerks Association requested a cleanup bill filed as House Bill 3666. The bill caused uh, additional confusion for county and district clerks by adding the phrase or sex change to forms identified, uh, form, forms of identification acceptable for obtaining a marriage license. The bill doesn't deem any, the bill that passed last session in the 81st regular does not deem any one form of acceptable identification more important than another. Therefore, the clerks have been forced to make judgments depending on what documents were provided as proof of marriage. In some cases, in one county, uh, they might issue a marriage license to a couple that a clerk in a different county would deny. The Texas Constitution clearly defines marriage as between one man and one woman, uh, as the Constitution was amended in 2005. In 1999, the Texas Fourth Court of Appeals invalidated uh, the marriage of a transgender couple on the basis that gender is defined by sex at birth as indicated on an official birth certificate. Basically, uh, what Senate Bill 723 does is it aligns the family code with the Texas Constitution and Texas Higher Courts decisions which provide clarity in the law. Uh, section 2 clarifies that this is not retroactive. 